Hey guys, Mr. T just doing a video on the idea of discounts. Sometimes businesses need to reduce the selling price of their items to make sure they sell. So sometimes that's because the new things coming out and they need to get rid of the old stuff. Or they really need money straight away and they don't mind if they lose a bit of money or lose a bit of profit on it. So this price reduction is known as a discount. So the selling price of a discounted item you work it out by using this formula, the selling price after discount is going to be the marked price or the price it was before the discount minus the discount. So that's easy to deal with this formula if you know just the discount as a number. So that's what this first example is going to be. However, it's more difficult when you're given the discount as a percentage or something else like that. So let's start off with the easy example. You're just told the discount. So a washing machine was priced um, at $492, uh, $495 during a sale. They're offering a $120 discount. What's the sale price of the washing machine? So selling price is going to be the mark price of $495 minus $120. So that's going to be $495, $395 discounted price. Okay, so that's the easy example where you just know exactly what the discount is in a dollar amount. However, you have the more common example. You'll see these are like places like EB Games or Harvey Norman and stuff like that. They put little um, tags on it that tells you, oh, it's 22% off but it doesn't actually tell you what this final price is. So you can use maths to work it out. So a PC has a marked price of $1060, but it's being offered with a 22% discount. Calculate the actual selling price. So the formula is SP is equal to marked price minus discount. The only problem is I don't know what the discount is right now. I only know that it's 22%. So I need to work out what this 22% discount is uh, by working out what 22% of 1060 is. So, I can't do anything with 22%, but I know from previous uh, work that 22% is the equivalent of a fraction of 22 over 100, which becomes 0 0.22. Now I can work with the decimal, because 22% of something is 0 0.22 of it, and I want to work out what 22% of 1060 is, which I can find... <coughs> from multiplying 0 0.22 lots of 1060 so it's going to be $233.20 discount now I know what the discount is I can take that off so the selling price is going to be the mark price of 1060 minus $233.20 It's going to be $826.80 discounted. Can't kind of spell discounted properly. Discounted price. Okay, so that's an example of doing a discount when it's given as a percentage. Hopefully that helps you out, and I'll see you in the next video.